Hi, I'm Bowling Adder. And I'm Lucy Sandwich. And welcome to the BS on the Internet. Well, it's been another one of those weeks. Oh my God, has it? It's been a hell of a week. <laughs> you guys, I, are you as stressed as we are? Because it is. <laughs> it's it's the, uh, right now. We're recording this on the twenty second. The what? What day is it? It's Saturday. It's Saturday. We yeah, usually record track. on Friday. Tell them what happened to our, at our house. Tell them what happened. What? What? what uh, which the? Uh, with the internet. Oh, the oh yeah, the couple things. The well, fire Listen. alarms. One thing. I thought you were going to talk about the fire alarms first. Uh, the smoke, <sighs> smoke alarms. All the smoke alarms decided to start beeping at once. <sighs> And for like three days straight, I spent about 10 minutes in the morning before leaving for work, like John Travolta. Oh my like God. Looking around, like trying to figure it out where the beam is coming from. It was infuriating. And you stand in a room and like wait it in silence chirp. and wait for it to chirp. And they, I just took values out of everything. <laughs> There's all over the house are fire alarms yeah, just ripped out. All, and I said, We have no fire protection. Right I said, now. We've got to get nine volt <laughs> batteries. Who has nine volt batteries? I know, I had to go order them. I know. There's nothing else in life that uses nine volt batteries <sighs> anymore except for but freaking But they did. They all alarms, died the at the same alarms. time. Yeah. It was horrible. Yeah, that horrible. Was terrible. And so, so that but happened. Yeah, that happened. But. And then two days ago, our internet went out. Our TV and internet woke up in the morning, it was gone. It was raining like crazy. So, like, why would rain have killed the freaking internet like but i i don't know exactly what happened but and it's uh we just had a guy come in today and uh fix it and there's a splitter that went bad and actually now that i think about it yeah now i feel like there's something i have to go look at out there why so i'm trying to wonder how used to be... could possibly have gone bad that's a weird thing for okay. a splitter to go bad randomly if it was really? if it was wrenched down that's really weird for, for those of you who don't know Oh. Maddie used to be a cable guy. I used for to be a cable guy. Comcast. Years He's ago. the guy that comes yes. in your house and fixes your cable. Yes. Yeah. I did that for a while. So now we have somebody fixing ours, and like the whole time I'm like, you're not doing this right, are you? Like, <laughs> you didn't go to the tap. No. Oh, I'm no. like, what are you doing? Not going up on the pole, man. I did this oh, job. Oh, man. But then I'm thinking, if he didn't do a drip loop before the splitter, water could run directly down the cable right into of the splitter it would. and mess it up. Of course. It so would. I'm going to have to go check that. Oh, my God. Because that's easy to fix. <laughs> my God. That's really easy to fix. We'll but to we had no internet. No internet for a couple days. So we couldn't, we couldn't send anything out. We couldn't watch anything. We had no internet. We were using our phones as hotspots. It was crazy. We were trying to Christmas shop yeah. online. And it was like, oh my gosh, it was a nightmare. And then you've got a toddler. You know what I mean? And you're Try like, you're, you're Chromecasting and things yeah. like that and playing Elmo and whatnot here and there. But luckily I was dragging him all over yeah, I mean, we've everywhere to go Christmas shopping. Christmas festivity stuff. So yeah, to get gifts for everybody. So you guys in the too? car, we're dragging him around anyway. So I, in, in some ways, it worked it out. It worked out fine. But we were supposed yeah. to record this last night and stream tonight. But mm -hmm. we had to push everything because we didn't have any internet last night. So now we're recording BS on the internet tonight on Saturday. Horrible! We'll stream tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, the same day you're watching this, as a matter of fact, you should be streaming this tonight, so yeah, that's you're not right. doing anything. Come see us. What are we streaming? What are we streaming? Oh, are we streaming until, until dawn? dawn? Yes. In fact, I think this is going to finish until dawn. <laughs> no. Uh, she's been playing through the whole game. She's Why didn't know we were doing it? So, uh, it was... It was and, and she's very close to the end. So, uh, we'll prob she'll probably finish it tomorrow night. Tonight. Yeah, you guys are watching right now. She'll probably finish it tonight. Oh, my God. I so come hang out on the Twitch channel. But anyway. also, also, oh. thank you guys for all the support on our last video. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's yeah. been a very Absolutely. emotionally complicated week for us. <laughs> um, I've been doing a lot of thinking about it. Your guys' feedback was really, really awesome. We didn't monetize the video or anything like that. I tried not to. I'm, I'm still trying to yeah. figure out how to do that. I couldn't say no monetization. I could, there's no button to uncheck. I no. just had to say what level of monetization and how many countries. What? So if you're getting it out of that, I'm sorry. I'm trying to. Oh my gosh! I didn't know that. I didn't know I that. I think they moved the tool somewhere else. Wow. And I couldn't find it. But yeah. Anyway, it's not supposed to be monetized. Mm. I hope you're not getting ads. But uh, yeah, you guys were were very kind. Um, some people were also not so kind. But I'm trying to not, you know. I think I, I, I saw I'm only to, positive reactions. I'm trying to. Did you? This. Did you? Yeah, only positive. There's some like passive aggressiveness. I was getting a little bit, I, you know. But people I, are still, we're still talking. The to last thing I so wanted. Like beings, you know? Um, the if you don't know what we're talking about, we just put a video up. I'll just say in a nutshell, real quick, that we didn't know how many people were uh, unhappy with the direction of the yes. channel yes. and that we were doing a uh, long play and saying they weren't excited about the channel anymore and it was very didn't painful like the streaming to didn't like the balance the yeah so we were kind of like huh so we're kind of like mulling it over and everything but a lot of comments I was seeing were making it seem like we were quitting which we are oh, no, not no, no. they were like no, no. oh take all the time you need and I'm like no we don't need time that's the thing it's just us doing tweaking here and there it's so what the normal is that's what yeah it, yeah you know, I don't want you guys to think 
think that we need to step away for this long period of time in order to regroup. That's not the case at all. We're just trying to budget our time better. You did just start this new job. It hasn't even been a month. And we're trying to kind of figure out how this is. A month. Yeah, yeah. Almost there. So we'll be figuring out exactly what we need to do. So it's, I don't want you to think we're quitting or leaving or cutting down no, no, or no. whatever. No, we were just so, trying to explain where we were. Not yeah. that anything is going to change as of this video. We're going to kind of continue totally. business as usual here. Yeah. We just wanted to just, we didn't realize that there were as many people as there were that were really unhappy with where the channel was. So yeah. we just wanted to explain where we were at. And so sad. The, the reaction has been so, so positive. Sad. I really appreciate all the support you guys have put out there. And uh, we're just excited to get back to what we were doing. Yeah, yeah. But that being said, yeah. there's a lot that happened this week. Yes. So let's talk about it. Right. Oh, but also, first and foremost, the government shut down. Yeah. We won't get into it, <laughs> but it might be a good idea to watch the news over the next month. Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? This week has no one felt... Really knows. <laughs> The, this whole totally. week, this week has felt like ten years. Yeah. Do you know what it really a has? Lot's happened this week. So yeah. it's getting hard to keep up. I'm at a point where I'm like, you know what? I got things to do. <laughs> yeah. I can't just be checking to see what every what is happening. But as yeah. of right now, the 22nd at 10:30 p.m., the government shut down. Yeah. So okay, um, federal workers, I hope that gets solved. That's get incredibly back to sad. Yeah. I'm I'm mostly worried about that because you know it's the holidays and there's checks and. and Thing, in gifts and, and things like that and people want to be with their family so uh yeah that's interesting but a lot more to talk about other than that okay first up it turns out that uh about a week and a half ago i'm only just seeing it this week is that game workers in the uk have unionized yeah holy it crap. is happening and uh it was really big news for a couple of days but now um they have the right to to unionize and actually you know they'll have some rights in the industry because i know they were really unhappy as it is in the states with the hours and the amount of time that some of these devs are asked to contribute and demand and I, and you know what it's so yeah, funny we, we definitely had it's a loaded conversation we've had it you know? is it is they said some of the goals include ending the institutionalized practice that's a very good word to use institutionalized practice of excessive and unpaid overtime improving diversity supporting abused or harassed workers and securing a livable wage for all but i know um a big part of it I like that the improving diversity because I've seen that some women have had some problems, mm. uh, some minorities have had some problems at different, um, you know. But that's it true. Kind of, it kind of seems to fit into like the Silicon Valley. I um, was just gonna say that's a problem in tech. Yeah. yeah anyway. It, yeah, just the bro world. Yeah, um, for sure. It's, you know, it's. Um, but it's kind of the big, idea that to of the other direction. Right, right, and it's so funny because I was seeing this conversation happen. Um, on Reddit and on Twitter, I think there was a crossover where they were saying that it's kind of dangerous to work someplace that touts itself as a family and yeah. says, we're all a family here because then they could take advantage of you and they'll uh, try and go for this um, just excuse to like, yeah, unpaid work. Hours. They'll say but like, it's, it's a labor it's, yeah, of you're love. Supposed to be supporting your you family need to now. be here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like that's, now I'm we're totally a totally not a okay group. with that. Like it's one thing for you to be a team, you should be a team. Right. Teams work together. Together, but you go home to your family. Yeah, you know, that's not where you are there. So, yeah, I agree. I completely. I don't. I don't agree with having that sentiment at all. I, I, I understand the need the for place. yeah camaraderie in the workplace yeah, and all that kind thing. of that's, stuff. That's fine. But family is a very very strong yes. word to use. Well, putting it fa using the word family it makes an attempt to put it on par with your actual family. Which yeah, but you would go to the ends of like, the earth for your family. Yeah, exactly. You know, so, so we're your family now, so you got to go you to the do in that. for us. It's like, no, no. I yeah, know. I'm giving you work, you're giving me money back. This is how this transaction works. For you know? sure. Yeah, they said calls for unionization within the games industry have gotten louder following the Rockstar 100 hour work week conversation. Yeah, yeah that, that was when we Sexism. really talked about this a lot. If you guys watched our episode, we talked about the Rockstar games, the 100 hour week thing, which yeah. ended up being. The, the truth was somewhere in the middle there. Yeah. Um, yeah there there was once. definitely some overworking, but sure. it, I thought one of the most interesting parts of that conversation and that I came away with um, was um, how really it's like an artistic thing. Yeah, yeah. And artists just, you know, oh, you get famously, in a zone. You, you just put in whatever time you got to put in yeah, your art for completed. sure. Really? But games, the games, I think um, to create a game takes too many people. So right. it can't really be considered like an individual art like that, you know, yeah. like, so it's sure you've got to be able to be fair to everybody. And I think this has got to happen. Um, 
just because there's been way too much way too much commonality of the stories between companies it, it was a normalcy across the industry mm -hmm. uh for people to be overworked and underpaid and in some cases not paid that's the thing there's uh, there's one thing for like work a lot of overtime as long as you get paid for that overtime oh sure you know as so long as you get paid for it mm -hmm. uh then i it's it's for a lot of in, in a lot of cases yeah, sure, whatever, go for it. But yeah. there's too many stories we're hearing of people just straight up not getting paid for their work. Oh, um, Not getting paid for any of their stuff. Like the game never came out, so they didn't get paid for it. It's so sad. And that is like where lines had to be drawn completely. Like, sure. yo, I mean, I know that some industries work more than others, but you have to at least be paid for your time. Yeah. You're not getting paid for your time. They, they got to unionize. I know, I know. I, I'm I'm happy to see this happen. I, I hope that, you know, it, it goes in a good direction. Mm -hmm. I, I really, really do because I know now it's going to get really complicated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. because this opens up oh, Pandora's box. It know? does. It really, really does. So, uh, so I hope it's a smooth process for everybody because yeah. it's a tough game. And this is only in the UK game. right now. This is not in the, in the US. I bet it hits us. It, it's it's going to have to. Oh, totally. You know, I mean, and it'll probably have to go too far. And then we'll have to try to find a happy medium somewhere, like in the middle. Right. Just like, you know, a lot of other industries are dealing with, right? Where you had union unions that absolutely had to be in place when they first started. And in some cases, there there's some overreach, you know, yeah. arguably, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but they're still needed. They're still important. They still need to be supported. So you, you have, yeah, like you said, I hope they find that balance sooner than later. Oh, for sure. You know, but well, we'll watch this closely. If you hear anything about it, we'll definitely talk about mm. it. All right, uh, here's another thing that's happening. Mm. Uh, Fortnite is uh, being sued over. I don't know if you've heard this. There's been a, there was a, there was a rapper that did it first. Yeah. I can't remember what their name was. Oh, it was down here. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. da, 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 here we go. Two Millie. Millie yeah, Rock. Yeah. Two Millie for the Millie Rock. Yes. He sued Fortnite for using his uh, dance and mm -hmm. well, basically for selling his dance. Yeah. Uh, in in the in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And now you've got um, Carlton. Yeah, the Carlton. Like Alfonso Ribeiro. Yes. Uh, he's now suing, and uh, also Russell Horning, who's the backpack kid, is right. also suing for the for floss. floss. So. Um, this is going to be interesting. And then there's Donald Faison. Yeah, Donald Faison, I know he got mad, but I don't think he sued anybody. I don't. Well, now I'm seeing that Alfonso Ribeiro is kind of walking back a little bit. Okay. Okay. So he said that. Well, I, I think uh, it's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you, I think we're going to say the same thing. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Where I know there's a muddy area. There was a whole conversation around this where you can copyright a dance choreography, a, a dance routine, but not a move. So are these choreographies or moves? Like I think the floss is a move. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The Carlton or like Donald Faison's, that's like a choreography, I think. Donald Faison's is kind of crazy. But I guess there's gotta be a length for it to be considered a choreographed routine. Maybe I mean, but but if it's just one move over and over, like yeah. like backpack kid, yeah. I feel like that's just a dance move. Yes. Yeah, I agree right? with the backpack thing, but 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 when you're talking about Donald Faison, yeah. I'm not, I don't really know because there's definitely a legal line somewhere there, right? Where how long the routine would have to be before it can be considered a copyrightable choreographed routine. Oh. It's probably got it. Maybe it's got to be like 30 seconds or something like maybe. that. Or but, if you're doing like like the lawnmower, like yeah. you know, like you can't copyright the lawnmower. But I'm like or wondering, like like with um, Alfonso Ribeiro, he does like two different things, you know? Yeah, but, yeah. Like there's only two things, and it's in a very short pocket. Is that long enough to be considered? A routine, a choreographed routine. I love the Carlton. Or is it just a move? Also, in the specific case, there's actually in both these cases, Alfonso Ribeiro and Russell Horning. I think they have much less of a case, and they probably know it, because um, Alfonso <laughs> Ribeiro actually, like, he's on camera. For, uh, there's footage of him on camera saying that he stole the routine and oh. then he just watched somebody else do it and decided that it was like what a white person looks like when they're dancing so right. and he was supposed to be this very you know yeah. upscale buttoned rich up. uh, yeah. guy he buttoned up so he's gonna I'm just gonna do this because it looks like I can't dance yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, so he basically <laughs> has already said that he didn't that it's not his dance Okay. Um, and then backpack kid Russell Horning there's a video of like some boy band or something some like kids together and one of them is doing it in the video before uh, he did the thing with Katy Perry hmm. So it's kind of like he probably didn't invent the floss. Yeah. I think the case is that they could both say that they popularized these dances they and that they're could. only popular because of them and Fortnite wouldn't have used them if they hadn't done it. That's a good so point. So there's some case there. However, I think that there's such like a legal gray area here. They're probably only doing this to force Epic into a settlement. This is probably not going to go to court. Yeah. I don't think we're actually going to get any precedent here. They're yeah. just going to get paid I off. I totally agree with you. Yeah. Well, because look Some at this. lawyer, the lawyers know they're what they're doing here. They're worth $5 billion. Yeah. Five 
billion Fine, dollars now. Right. Epic is worth here because of Fortnite. That's crazy. That's crazy. Holy. And you know what's so strange? Like maybe I'm thinking about this because we were just Christmas shopping. The Fortnite stuff out. Like we saw a shirt with all the dance moves on it and everything, and yeah. like hoodies and so much Fortnite stuff. Yeah. So they're gonna. Oh my gosh. So they make so much money and they are just always, always pulling it in. They you know what's crazy? Them even if it's like three dollars. or four years from now, right? Which it won't be. But even mm. if it is, mm -hmm. there's probably someday there's going to be a Fortnite 2. And right. how is that not going to be like the biggest video game event yeah. that we've ever seen when they're finally going to release that? Yeah. Like at, at the... the level of popularity this is reached by now it's i think insane. we're just kind of seeing the beginning uh, uh potentially <laughs> of how big this is going <laughs> to be this is kind of crazy it's wild it's a social thing now oh my gosh it's like it's it's unbelievable how yeah, this is happening people just hang out all day. they don't really oh, yeah. necessarily like care about playing absolutely. as much it's just absolutely. socializing it's crazy but do crazy. you think that they are uh that they deserve uh, some monetary monetary well, compensation. For I this. think I think it is kind of super dicey that Epic has taken something that is an iconic move for these individuals yeah. and sold it. It's one thing to like include it in the game as like a, as like a tribute. Yeah. Like, hey, we're gonna shout out to this classic meme and it's gonna be funny and everyone's right, gonna be like, right. oh, that band's went in like great. But they're selling it That's specifically just that, not as a part of a package. Yeah, yeah. But, like buy the Carlton right. from us. Yeah. We're not gonna buy it from him. We're just gonna use it, and then you buy it from us. Oops. So that I kind of that's super dicey. To me. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they deserve something. It's just really hard to say what. Do they deserve royalties, or is it really just a one big? I bet they give so them a Epic lump can, sum. Oh, you know, probably gonna be a lump sum. Probably a lump sum. Uh, and uh, and they're gonna pay. Oh, Honestly, sure. There's too many people getting involved. Everyone's gonna get settlements. They got so much money to throw at them. Yeah. Everybody's gonna get paid here. Yeah. But what do you, what uh, but, do you yeah. guys? What do you like, guys morally, think about this? It's an this? interesting situation. I'm curious. Yeah, what you guys especially think. when dance is concerned. Yeah. When people like. Uh, iconic dance moves and, and things like that like you hear about them and then a lot of people say the people that have like they're inspired by somebody else like music yeah you know you could say oh that sound this band sounds like you know yeah, this band like or music. whatever yeah. you know so everybody's inspired by somebody mm -hmm. you know like there's the, completely original yeah like yeah. there's i was just gonna say there's that argument yeah is anything really original it had to start somewhere mm -hmm. but it's all through life experiences and being influenced by you know what you're attracted to it and things like that so i'm curious to see how this kind of pans out but yeah like backpack kid i had never seen anything like that in my life that was crazy i remember yeah. we were watching <laughs> we were watching that snl, SNL episode yeah, yeah. and we were like what is happening like what did you see what's that he kid doing? What kid doing right now I know. we were like who is this kid with the backpack like and it okay blew up. like obviously it, it blew up like crazy nuts it's yeah nuts. now it's flossing yeah flossing. There's, a, there's a name for it you're now. flossing it's you're flossing, flossing yourself yeah i get it i get it <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can do it really well. I love how, I love how it's like his That's nickname so is funny. Backpack Kid. Backpack Kid, like, yeah. I didn't know he had a name. I thought he came and shot out of the womb. Yeah, backpack his Backpack Kid. kid. He's fulfilling his his. Uh, it's his a Backpack destiny. Kid. Hey! Yeah, it's actually organic. Oh my gosh. It grows with his body. <laughs> it bleeds of you. That's gross! <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting! <laughs> oh! What do you guys think? Do you think they deserve money? Do you think they deserve a lot of money? Would it be better to have royalties or a lot of money? Oh, it's better to have royalties. Yeah. In this case, yeah. better to have royalties. That's true. Holy God. That's true. Pay me in equity. Okay, so I saw this on Twitter. I am terrified. <sighs> I haven't seen this yet. Look at this. Meet Hexa, the fascinating, Watch yet it. unsettling six-legged robot. Look. If I loved anything on Can this you maximize earth, that? it's haunting robots especially six-legged robots that look and move like insects. This is Hexa, a righteous yet, let's face it, somewhat unsettling new robot. Hexa referring to hexapod, meaning it's got six legs. And what fascinating legs they are. Ugh. Each has three joints, giving the robot excellent maneuver. Like a bug! What's going on here? Yeah, what's with the freaking buffering? With them, Hexa can tackle a wide range of obstacles. Look at that! Remote control it toward a step, and it will automatically heft itself up. Fuck. No need to control what? Control individual legs. Look! Although that was kind of cute. And it can manage even super inconsistent surfaces. What is going on here? Oh, it's buffering. And Hexa squeezes hey. into those hard to reach places. You might be wondering why six legs? Why not four? Why not eight? 
<laughs> Who's this? No, no, it, it is not. No, he he Being bipeds might free up our hands for manipulation. I think well, that's is all. Happening. But yeah. Should I make it smaller? Robot to bat that's not. That's can't that can't be why it's happening. Energy, not to mention extra engineering. A six-legged robot, like an insect, is inherently it more is. stable. That'll make it good for things like exploring collapsed buildings. Look at that. Watch Hexa climb. Or your bedroom. Notice how it uses its legs in unique ways to conquer the obstacles. Look at that. The thing is, in robotics, there's lots of wrong ways to get around. After all, 600 legs are probably only good for millipedes. But there's also lots of right ways. One lab has even engineered a masterfully agile one-legged robot. What? Now, Hexa is what? The first robot. What? We're not gonna talk about that. We're just gonna move right on. Not only in its Back to the spider robot. Brains too, because this is an open platform. Its maker wants users to hack together new skills for the robot. This skill, for instance, was made to freak me out. Okay, maybe not, but still, expect big things from Hexa. <laughs> as long jokes. as it can stay right side up. <laughs> oh, wow. No. Okay, that was even creepier. No. But you know, I think no. I have a solution. What? All you have to do is Step make it go. It. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, that's funny if you step just go. On it. No, step on it. I think immediately you're like, now it's cute. Make it kind of like derpy. Yeah. <laughs> Not no. derpy, but just like hello. No. I'm just going to. No. Go about my what do you use that for? They said, okay, so collapse buildings. Yeah. Maybe like a like a bomb spider, like if okay. they're doing like a bomb package. Yeah, actually, it would be very useful for that because it can get over like all sorts of terrain. What about the thing that they use now? That little tank, that little. Yes. Yeah, so Why don't we have just that use that? Tank. But maybe they Why can co-op have... this technology to make it better. Why does it have to look like a spider? Totally freaked me out. It is kind abilities. of like we're getting to the point now where there's know, be man. all sorts of different crazy super agile robots what was with the one-legged robot we were just gonna freaking go right by that <laughs> he's just like yeah there's a super, he's like he's on a damn trampoline <laughs> super high jumping freaking one-legged robot super powerful uh one-legged robot look at that but you know what's crazy about that Not cool i don't like it then you what? then you take like the uh the robots are making now mm -hmm. and you give them two of those legs and then you would have robots that could jump ridiculous heights. They could leap tall buildings oh at a God. single bound. I hate it. They literally could. Gives me the willikers, man. Is that what's going to happen first? Are we going to have robots that can jump really freaking oh high? God. What would you rather have, the jumping robot or the spider robot? Oh, the jumping robot. Why? But you'd have to have a house with like really high ceilings because that thing looked like it could jump ridiculous. It's just going <laughs> to hit the ceiling every day. <laughs> you could put them both together. It could be the spider jumping. Yeah, and then, and then it would catch. That's the thing. You give the spider the ability to jump like that other one and then they can clean the ceilings. No! Then it then then we have problems. Oh my god, I hate it all. This is getting worse. I hate it all. Okay, it's time for the subreddit of the week. And uh, this week is floof. Floof. Because it's Christmas and I wanted something pleasant. I was gonna do another one, but it was really kind of like <laughs> kinda dark. Kinda dark. And I was like, <laughs> it wasn't it's Christmas, Christmas this spirit. week. So we picked floof, and it's just all kinds of floofy animals. We ha I found this because Louie is a long haired cat. Yes. And um, I saw just somebody, I think, put their floofy cat on Reddit, and it, somebody tagged this subreddit, and I was like, oh my gosh. So the funny thing about long haired cats, though, is that when they're born, they look just kind of like they stuck their paw in a socket. They're just yeah. kind of like. Beep. Everything just goes straight out. Yeah, like their hair just sticks out, and it's you're like, oh my gosh, long. how you're funny. Like, oh, look, he's furry. Yeah, like exactly. a cat. you're like, look at that fur, that's so funny. <laughs> And then, like in our case with Louie, we were like, "Whoa, he's really like, he's really like furry." And then he was just like, <laughs> "Yeah." Then he just and exploded then, with fur. Right. His and then tail was have, the last. Yeah, it was. And now his tail is like this beautiful plume. plume. Yes. Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. But they have their winter coat and they have their summer coat. Yes. And their winter coat is like a, like a big <laughs> beard. Like a big beard. Yeah, you know what I mean. So here we go. June seventeenth to December twenty seventeenth. Look at that. Uh, Look at that. It's like they explode. Yeah. This is the top of all time. Sir Floofy Tail. Oh. Oh my goodness. Floof. This looks like Louis' tail a bit. Look at those it does ears. Kind of like Louis' tail. Yeah, that reminds me of uh, him a lot. Okay. Oh, this one's having multiple surgeries. Oh, your floof. Oh. Uh, Chris Jenner! <laughs> What's she doing here? <laughs> it's always. Look at this one. <gasps> oh my God. That's a thick boy. Yes. Oh, Lord, he coming. <laughs> He's a little curly. He is curly. It's so long, it gets curly. Oh my gosh. But look how much that floof is sticking out. I have no idea how much cat is actually <laughs> under that fur. That's so funny and so true. If any of you have long haired pets at all, isn't it so like t like how tiny their body is? Yeah, like under all little cats. This, it looks like they're chunky. Giant floof sticking out. It yeah, does. and it doesn't. They're just, they're just humongous, like all this fur. It's crazy. 
Let me see. What's this very tiny floof? Oh my god! <laughs> Look at him's eyebrows! Oh my goodness. Look at those! Oh, he looks a little like a, like a, like forlorn. It makes him look a little... Take me home. <laughs> Hold on, I just want to see a couple more. Who is this? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. There you go. I love him. Floof pig. What is it? He's a floof pig. Oh, like, cow. Is that a cow? Calf. It's a calf. Yeah. It's a cow? It's a cow. <laughs> oh my god, that's maybe the cutest thing I've ever seen. Let me just do a little bit more, do a little bit more. Wait a minute. Winter flu starting to show up. Oh my god. Oh, is that the same cat? That's the same cat. It looks like the same cat. Oh my cat. god. This That's cat was crazy. just crazy. I have to brush Louie. When we're done here, I have to brush Louie. What the, the heck? I've the, never seen a cat with a quite like Oh my god. Quite that much. There's fur. this for those of you if, who have long hair cats, I know some of you do. Um, we got this brush for him called the Furminator. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's excellent. It's a beast yeah and it gets in that undercoat because we usually will comb and then we'll brush with the furminator and how about it the just the clump of hair that i get yeah it's like it's like this big yeah and he looks like all smooth and he's just all like Pff. yeah it's it's awesome he's it's glorious awesome. yes anyway so that's floof <gasps> what what kind of cat is that it looks like a porcupine <laughs> <laughs> Is there? I'm mean, like, does it? Is it's it a skeleton, ball. just like a ball, I, like a like a, like a round? I've like never sphere. seen a cat that looks like this in my life. He looks like he's got a really. He deep also looks voice. angry. Yeah, his it's whiskers like are down. A, yeah, his he's ears got like are kind a, of. I mean, I don't know really, what's up with his ears. Yeah, that, no idea. He looks kind of like, like a bear. He does. Him's cute though. I like he's him. He's cute. Oh, uh, where can we get Louis a little jacket? <laughs> God. All right. Next, we're gonna watch a trailer. Men in Black International. Oh, There's a I'm, new Men in Black. I'm really curious about this because I liked the original ones. I only saw the first one. Sugar water. Sugar water. There, yeah. that better. That better. That messed me Who up. Who was that I, too? Wasn't that? That was Vincent D'Onofrio. That's man. right, Vincent D'Onofrio. I didn't know for years later. Like, wait a second. From, uh, Kingpin. Yeah, Kingpin from freaking. Daredevil. The the I forget what his name was in Men in Black, but he was that bug. Yeah, alien. yeah. Oh my gosh, and he was in the cell. Have any of you seen the cell with oh J Lo? God. You still need to see the cell. I have not seen that. that. Movie I have not seen that. Have any of you seen that? Put it in the comments because yeah. oh god, it's so neat. She like goes in his dreams. It's got Vince Vaughn. Anyway, anyway, it's in the nineties. Right. Moving on. Men in Black. Okay. Oh, Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. <laughs> Liam Neeson. <laughs> oh, what's she from? Was she in Black Mirror? Always remember. She's in a lot of stuff. She looks so familiar. The universe has Westworld. a way of leading you to where you're supposed to be at the moment you're supposed to be there. I am Mason. Did he really just say that? Yes. No. It took me 20 years to find you. How many people can say that? You are the best kept secret in the universe. And I found you. Which makes me perfect for this job. You really think a black suit? Yeah, lady. Is going to solve all your problems. Mm, no, but looks damn good on you. Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh snap! We are a rumor. Recognizable. <laughs> Bless you. He's been season all day. And dismissed just as quickly. Bless you. Time to prove yourself, Agent M. <laughs> we may have a problem. You're gonna be okay. London. Are you all right? Welcome to MIT. Okay. London, London, London. You will be with Agent H, one of the best ever to wear this suit. Ah, Catching up on my daily meditation. Time for lunch, I think. Are you hungry? It's 9.30. Perfect. Tuesday's taco day. Is it he Australian? I think so. This is karaoke, Lissy. We've been compromised. It puts every citizen of this planet at risk. Oh, they're making it kind of James Bondy, sort of. Yeah. London doesn't get enough love in the action movie genre, I think. Just try. I forgot about that thing, that stick. Fun. We'll have fun with it. Have fun. There should be a big red button around here somewhere. Found it. Is it eject? Oh! 
We are the men. It turns into grease at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Danny and they're gonna turn around and wave. Looks Danny like and Sandy. That was an incredible catch. Okay. All summer, right. of course. All right. So they're gonna be vying for the uh, summer blockbuster. Yeah, that, that's appropriate for that for sure. Yeah. Summer blockbuster movie. They're not trying to win, uh, you know, an Oscar. That'll be cool. They're just trying to make a fun movie. It looks like a fun popcorn movie. They they're always fun. The yeah. Men in Blacks. So I always liked that. Many, there were three, weren't I think there? There were three. I only saw the first two. I don't think I saw the th the third. Was I don't, the third I don't think good? I've seen more than the first one to be honest. Really? It was really really fun when it came out. Oh my gosh. It yeah. was really cool. But I, it's just interesting. I kind of like the direction they're taking. It here, yeah, like it's like kind of still got lighthearted, sort of goofiness, but like, yeah, uh, not quite. It doesn't seem over the top cheesy, yeah, you know, it does. And I yeah. like the kind of like James Bondy kind of thing. That goes I on. hope like, they James go Bond with aliens, the, yeah, because be there was at that time that the original Men in Blacks were out, there was like the hokey action movie, kind yeah, of, that were they were really, really good, yeah, and entertaining. Should I say entertaining? They yeah. were really entertaining, but they had their hokey moments. Oh yeah, you know. So hopefully, you know, like it looks James like it, Bond it movies be, aren't hokey. So yeah, it looks kind of like hokey-ish still. Yeah, but a it looks like they might have dialed that back a little sure. bit. Sure, I'm know. glad for London we'll though. Yeah. I really am. I love London. London is so, so, so lovely. So lovely. So I would just like to go in there and see the architecture and see them mess everything up. That would be great. Do you think Will Smith's going to make a cameo? Yeah. Oh my God, he better. I think, and he needs to. what about Tommy Lee Jones? Oh my God! <laughs> that would be that would be, that would be pretty cool. But I don't Even know. Maybe they're trying to like distance a, themselves. Maybe, maybe they're like, no, we're going to do a new maybe, thing. Never I mind. I don't know, but like you know, we're from Philly, so like Will Smith, you know what I mean? God around here, and has been for a long time, and he treats Philly good. Yeah, he so does Kevin Hart. Kevin really, Hart does too. Yeah, they really rep Philly well. So of course, if Will Smith is in, we're like, oh my God, Will Smith! Everybody will go nuts around here. And lastly. New Hellboy. Oh my gosh. New Hellboy's coming out in 2019. I love Hellboy. I love Hellboy. But there's a new Hellboy! There's a new Hellboy. New Hellboy. But the new Hellboy is uh, apparently dude from Stranger Things. David Harbour. David Harbour. Yeah. Which, when I think about it, that could really... I'm like, I'm really interested to see what this is going to look like because I think he could he be could really work. cool. Yeah. Yeah, he could work. He can get that. worked up about stuff, you know? Oh, totally. So, like, I can see could that. He get worked up. You can get worked up. You get an emotional guy. I hope he does that little dance. <laughs> that he does with Eleven. You know, he does his little, so nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's it. Here we go. Don't sneeze this time. I'll try not to. They warned us that something was coming. If there is ever an end in this forever war, it will be because of you and your strong right hand. I'm on your side! Sorry. My bad. Oh, it's so different. He looks so different. We're the line in the sand. We fight against the forces of darkness. This is it. We're expecting a sign that says secret headquarters. Oh my god. Oh. Jin from Lost. Lost. Oi. I need some ID, love. Um, are you serious? You made me a damn weapon. I just wanted to help you become the best you. Some dads get their kids Legos. Haven't we got to be saving the world or something? It's been, it's been funny. Does it do anything special? Money. Yeah. It smashes things real good. His hair is super long. Whoa! You are mankind's best and only hope. I thought we were supposed to be fighting monsters, not working with them. Whoa! Who you call a monster, pal? You look in the mirror recently? He's an asshole. Sorry! I interrupt! On the contrary, we've arrived just in time. Whoa! Whoa, is that? Oh my gosh, it's so different. Why is that the song they're using? 
because he wants to ride a pony. Wait, is there something after this? Wait a minute. No. Okay. So he looks really different. Now, wait a minute. Was it really necessary to do this? <laughs> like they said it was a reboot, right? Yeah, yeah. When definitely. was the original where when was the original one out? Oh four. Okay, so it's been fourteen years. It yeah. will then be fifteen years. Is that enough time to reboot something? Um. Yeah, that's that's kind of an interesting question here. I, th I think that's a, a viable question, right? I mean, it's it's been done before, but it is pretty. And there was it's a sequel. pretty early to be doing. And there was a sequel. Yeah. So I, I feel like maybe there has to be. Another. But when it comes to comic books and superhero movies and stuff like that, they reboot a lot. Yeah. You know, because those movies are so reliant on special effects. Right. That they age pretty badly. But oh my pretty God. quickly. There's you know? this dude in Hellboy. You still have to see Hellboy too. Yeah, I do. It's have really to see good. The effects in there, they're like they were really, really good. I remember they the were. Time I'm sure they were. Mind, but yeah, I haven't at seen the time. it. In a while. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, and yeah. And some of the special effects you showed here look crazy. Like the the um the uh, uh the huge thing in the water going through the bridge. Oh yeah, yeah. It's crazy it and did. Uh, and like the giants that were in some field or something. But is that, that enough nuts. of a reason to reboot? Just that the technology has caught up and it could look cooler now. No, I'm sure that's just part of it. You know, it's 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 a pretty big part of it though. Yeah. These movies are super reliant on that. Yeah. Um, and uh, they I guess they wanted to give him a different uh, personality, David Harbor. I don't yeah. know. It, it's tough because that he's sassy. Yeah, yeah. That that trailer looked like. Really, the action looked really, really cool in it, but like I think every single one liner they pulled out was kind of bad. Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. I mean, this is kind of the impression That's I got. I was like, true, I was really yeah. funny. I was Did really I interrupt funny. something? Yeah, yeah super <laughs> no. cliche. Hey, I'm on your side. Yeah, like, guys, this <laughs> is like, yeah, <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. I know. Yeah, it's like, I mean this is like insane. old school humor. Yeah, but it might be really cool, like all 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 on this all at once. I'd be curious to see how it comes out. I, mm. I don't know if I came away from this trailer like, yo, I gotta see that. Yeah, like I am with like Godzilla, right? Sure, sure. But um, but it was still like I'm curious. I'm curious to see. Yeah, Godzilla. There was another Godzilla, out. but that was in the '90s, I think. Yes. I, yeah, I there feel was one with Matthew like, Broderick. Right? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. But I feel like not enough. Uh, oh, and then there was another. I remember. Oh gosh, when we saw the first one, we got all these comments. They were like, there was this Godzilla, this Godzilla. Yeah. Like this Godzilla, that Godzilla. Yeah, That's there was another right. Godzilla. This is the second one. In, Maybe in there Philly's was a yet. fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh Hellboy that we just didn't see. Maybe there but were. I don't know. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm so like um, preoccupied with the idea. I feel I'm like, has, there, has it been enough time? Like it's like the other one, 15 years. Yeah. Time it comes out. I don't know. Like everything I don't know. gets rebooted so fast now. Yeah, it, it does. Seems. It does. But can we get something original every now and then? Maybe. Sure, sure. I don't know. Sure, Lizzie, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll get come right, right on up. that. Come right Th up. That's right. But I know that we're in the whole comic, like, boom yes. right now. So, yes. I mean, it's to be expected. And he's an awesome character, too. So I can I can understand that. Okay, guys. That was an episode of BS on the Internet. Oh, yeah. A week happened. There's going to be another mm -hmm. one next week. That's right. If you want to learn about anything more we talked about and want to read more into it, links are in the description. Mm -hmm. And if you're celebrating the holidays coming up, I hope you have a great one. Same you get to see family and have a good time. Of course. And if you like this video, mm -hmm. please support us on Patreon. Click like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. Bye.